Hey guys! <coughs> oh shit, we had already the game wrong. Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to show you uh, the updates on the drum kit. Uh, yeah, I'm sick, yeah, you noticed it, and that's why I haven't done the video before. I was completely unable to talk anything, so it just, you know, it had to happen. Today I wanted to show you uh, the two prototypes that I printed um, for the lugs of my drum kit. Um, I have been considering different options for lugs. Uh, first of all, I want a uh, copper coating. Uh, as you guys know, I don't, I'm not so sure if I actually say that already, but... And the issue with that is that if you buy um, uh, chrome hardware, then you have to like scrape it off and then uh, like send it to somebody and code it off. Hi, my name is Valentina. I do all kind of drum building videos and yeah, drum videos. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you like this content. And well, let's just go back to the subject. And the other issue that I have with lugs that are on the market is that everybody uses them, especially the um, tube lugs. I honestly don't like them at all. And I do like them for some things, but really doesn't really catch me the attention. And especially when it comes to features, it's very like raw and bare. So if I actually am spending so much money into hardware, so much money into a drum kit, shells and all the thing, then I might as well go for a customized lug. So the idea is to actually um, CNC them out of aluminum, aluminium for us Europeans. <laughs> And then just coat them with a copper uh, plating or uh, powder coating. Um, I don't really have a preference if it is powder coated or not. Uh, I, I only would like that it would be like a dark copper where I can like age it a little bit, make it a little bit darker in some spots and give it an effect of like depth with the drum kit. <coughs> Now you might actually be wondering why are you, the heck are you printing just you know a couple of lugs? Why would you want to do that? Well, first of all, it's fun, but the real reason behind it is that it's really handy uh, to see how is it gonna look like. Do you like it? What do you not like? And immediately uh, save yourself a lot of money and a lot of effort and a lot of waiting time before you actually get something that you're absolutely not happy with. So in this case, for example, I do not like very much that it's very, um, yeah, like the angles are too sharp, in my opinion. Should be like a little bit more flatter. Um, and there is another issue, which is the lug is not, de um, the lug is not deep enough. Um, we could fix this with a couple of things, make the lug a little bit bigger, or we could just simply expand it a little bit. And I think that the handiest thing is to just um, make it a little bit bigger and just a little bit more depth. And I think that I will be fairly happy with that. Um, I printed two of them. Uh, one is actually with some borders to protect the plastic layer that goes below it. And the other one without. <laughs> and. Uh, I, I just want to see like the difference, how they look like. Honestly, I like uh, this one more, the one with the edges, but uh, at the same time, I think that indeed uh, they both need to be bigger, otherwise it's not gonna really work. Um, these are just dummies, so they don't have the hole yet, they don't have anything. <coughs> Normally it's not really cost efficient to do this if you're just doing just a drum kit for yourself. Um, if you sell drum kits, probably actually does make some sense. However, uh, do keep in mind that uh, it becomes like a production thing, so um, yeah, you know, you really have to uh, be willing to take that step. And then for the 3D printing, uh, I don't have a 3D printer here, however, there is a lab here uh, in Rotterdam where I can access it as long as I want. And I love to use it and I always go there for all of my projects and stuff like that. Uh, for the drum kit and for other projects that I have had in the past as well for the people for my guitar.
Uh, we use the Ultimaker 3 uh, 3D printer. It's an, it's an awesome 3D printer. It's super fast, precise, and it prints a really, really nice prototype to have an idea of what it looks like. Um, I have had bad experiences with other uh, 3D printers, like for example the Up. I really dislike it, especially because not only it's slow, but every time like it gets stuck, it doesn't really have a very, very good um, warming heating system uh, for the wire to, to melt and you know create the shape. So it gets stuck and just you know it's so messy and uh, it's really slow for such a thing that will take you like an hour to print it while on the Ultimaker just you know 15 minutes and you're done. So yeah, um, it's a short video, it's not too much, um, but it's an update and I hope that you guys actually like this idea. If you guys get, if you guys get inspired or so, let me know in the comments uh, if you would want to actually um, like do a project like this or so, I, I would love to know uh, what are your opinions and what are you, you know, thinking of. And um, yeah, see you next time.